everyone welcome to rpb resonance chemistry now let's continue our lectures on jonathan clyde organic chemistry series of videos okay so in previously i had uploaded like a chapter 19 part 1 and part 2 lectures in this class i am continued that chapter 19 chap uh, chapter 19 particularly that is nothing but a regio selectivity regio selectivity in opening of a bromonium ions and epoxides two two things in this class we are discussing about like a opening of a bromonium ions bromonium ions and second one opening of epoxides very simple things okay so now the ratio selectivity is nothing but so if our reagent it is possible to attack the more than one position okay so like either above the plane or below the plane or either first carbon or second carbon okay so the, our reagent having the like more than one possibility to attack the either first position or second position or sterically more crowded position or sterically less crowded position that is the case is called ratio selectivity ratio selectivity now shall we discuss the uh, first one that is nothing but opening of uh, bromonium ions opening of bromonium ions so in previous classes we have discussed like uh, epoxide formation and uh, bromonium ion formation like uh, electrophilic addition on uh, like dienes okay those are discussed in our previous classes now let's move on to the like ratio selectivity in opening of opening of bromonium ions okay so generally bromonium is nothing but a, a general alkene which is treated with bromine it produces the bromonium ion to followed by the like a bromide nucleophile attack the either side of the position either left or right so it produces the like a di anti dibromo ethane anti dibromo ethane this is the symmetrical alkene symmetrical alkene so we will get the uh, like same type of product whether it is uh, attack over the like a side or attack over the b side doesn't matter we will get the same side of a product same product okay in case of uh, unsymmetrical alkene so br2 br2 unsymmetrical alkene so here it is the bromonium ion so bromonium ion is nothing but a bromonium cation okay so after the addition of like bromide either sterically less crowded side we will get this kind of product br more than br why because so br minus attack over here so then bonded to electron shifted like this and it forms the like a br neutral so the bonded to electron will shift to the bromine atom it gets the negative charge negative and positive treated as a neutral one okay so now we will get the like a type of product let's imagine now so if br minus this is the a pathway so the br minus attack the sterically more crowded side so now it is opens like this it opens like this we will get the product as br br so both are the same product either a or b so both we will get the same product uh, either the attack whichever the attack either sterically less crowded side or sterically more, more crowded side we will get the same type of product so the finally what we conclude so the bromonium ion opening opening of bromonium ions in the symmetrical case or unsymmetrical case we will get the same thing we will get the same product but uh, the nucleophile so second one is the nucleophile so if you change the nucleophile that means uh, in solution we have the nucleophiles like methanol ethanol water so those are the nucleophiles okay so those having the highest concentration higher concentration okay so if you change in the uh, like uh, nucleophiles that means uh, bromonium ions in different different nucleophiles in different different solvents we will get the like a uh, variation in the opening of bromine bromonium ion, opening of bromonium ion. let's look down uh, those things shall we change the like a uh, solvent okay now let's discuss the one of the best example so here it is the olefin which is treated with bromine so we will get the like a bromonium ion so this bromine in the solvent of methanol in case of a methanol it is possible for the like uh, two cases that is the like either sn1 mechanism or sn2 mechanism or acid catalyst acid reaction or basic medium reaction okay so both the case we will get the like sterically more crowded side attack only both the case we will get the sterically more crowded side attack only 
ओके इधर एस एन वन आर एस एन टू इधर एस एन वन आर एस एन टू आर एसिडिक मीडियम और बेसिक मीडियम वी विल गेट द सेम टाइप ऑफ सेम काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ड्यू टू द स्टेबिलाइजेशन ऑफ मिथाइल ग्रुप्स एट क्रिएट क्रिएशन ऑफ कार्बोकैटियन ओवर हियर ओके सो हियर इट क्रिएट्स द कार्बोकैटियन दैट कार्बोकैटियन वाज स्टेबिलाइज्ड बाय द थ्री मेंबर रिंग हैलोजन आयन एज़ वेल एज़ सो टू मिथाइल ग्रुप्स ओके नाउ लेट्स लुक डाउट एट दोस मैकेनिज्म्स ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स इमेजिन हियर इट फॉलोस द एस एन टू मैकेनिज्म नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन सो हियर इट इज द ब्रोमीन Okay, so S N two mechanism means uh, first of all it cleaves the uh, like uh, more it cleaves the uh, one of the ca carbon halogen bond uh, it uh, due to the formation of a more stable carbocation due to the formation of more stable carbocation. So here it is the positive charge. It creates the more stable carbocation over than the primary carbocation. So tension is more stable. That's why this side is opens. This side is opens. Now after the opening of uh, like a uh, halonium ion, after the opening of halonium ion, then nucleophile attacks the electrophilic center. Nucleophile attacks the electrophilic center. So B R O methyl H plus over there. so here it lost the h plus and it creates the this kind of a product so this is the sn sn1 product sn1 product so now in case of sn2 manner sn2 manner so here methoxide is there methoxide in methanol methoxide in methanol so that methoxide cannot cannot attacks the sterically less crowded side it attacks the like sterically more crowded side now it gives the same kind of product Now it gives the same kind of product, same kind of product. This is the S N two mechanism. S N two mechanism. These are these two are the either S N one or S N two mechanisms. So these two only imaginated. These two are only imaginated. But originally it follows the another mechanism. Okay, so it lies between original mechanism. It lies between the S N one and the S N two mechanisms. S N one and S N two mechanism. Shall we start the like uh, those uh, like original mechanism here B R. so this br it starts to uh, it starts to creates the like a partial positive charge over the carbocation partial positive charge on the carbon atom and it it gives the bond like this okay so then after after the creation of a partial positive charge on carbocation so here also it creates the partial positive charge partial positive charge so then after methanol ready to attacks the partial positive charged carbon atom partial positive charged carbon atom so now here br o methyl h so here gets the positive charge here positive charge here positive charge so this is the like a loose sn2 loose sn2 transition state loose sn2 transition state okay so then after we will get the our uh, regular product so br like it is o methyl h so here it creates the br neutral and carbon neutral doesn't matter But still it having the oxygen positive charge so then after we will get the like a loss of a proton we will get the our desired product br o methyl so this is the original mechanism so it follows the sn1 if it follows the sn1 like this or it follows the sn2 like this or originally it is lies originally the bromonium ion opening bromonium ion opening is a uh, lies between the sn1 and the sn2 mechanism sn1 and the sn2 mechanism why because so here the bromine and carbon bond length is more so carbon halogen bond length is more bond length is more if bond length is more it is weaker bond then it is weaker bond so it is readily it readily start to break it readily starts to break so that's why it 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 obeys the this kind of mechanism it obeys the this kind of mechanism i think it is clear so nothing is there okay so bromine opening of bromonium of epoxide opening of bromonium ions not the epoxide sorry so opening of bromonium ions in the presence of either acidic medium or basic medium we will get the same same kind of product as well as it either it opens the sn1 pathway or it opens the sn2 pathway we will get the same kind of product or originally it cannot follows either sn1 or sn2 it is lies between the both sn1 and sn2 mechanism so those mechanism like this 
those mechanism like this so this mechanism due to the like a weaker bond between the creation of weaker bond between the carbon and the halogen and this weaker bond due to the it's more more bond length it's more bond length this is the opening of epoxide so before going to the sorry not the opening of epoxide sorry so it this is the opening of bromonium ions so before going to the epoxide shall we discuss the one of the best example So this is the one of the best example. So this is the like a olefin which is treated with bromine. It forms the bromonium ion. Okay. So when we use the like water as a nucleophile, so water will attack the over the like a uh, water will attack the O here and it forms the OH over here and Br over here. I think it is clear. Okay. So first of all, it forms the bromonium ion. It forms the bromonium ion. Then OH minus will attack over there. So it creates the neutral charge over there. Now we will get the OH and Br. OH and Br. So this is the like a Br OH. Okay. This is the simple reaction. So bromine in water, we will get the like a bromohydrins. This is we will get the bromohydrins. So whenever olefin is treated with bromine in presence of water, we will get the bromohydrins. So these bromohydrins, uh, in the case of further reaction with the base, so base will obstruct the proton from alcohol and it creates the negative charge. So it appears like this. So O minus. So that O minus will participate in the like neighboring group participation and it attacks over the like a carbon at a carbon halide bond and bromine will expels. Now we will get the three membered cyclic ring, three membered heterocyclic ring that is called epoxides. So this is the another another way to prepare the epoxides. It violates the, the uses of, uh, sorry, it, uh, it it reduces the uses of peroxides. Okay, this is also one of the best method. Okay, so this is the best method to prepare the uh, like epoxides. Okay, so these are the regio selectivity. This is the regio selectivity in bromonium ion openings. Now, let's look down at regio selectivity in opening of epoxides. Regio selectivity in opening of epoxides. Now let's look at the like opening of epoxide. That is the second case. The regio selectivity which is involved in the opening of epoxide. Now here it is the epoxide. It, now let's take the like unsymmetrical epoxide. So epoxide like a bromonium ion, it is also three membered ring. It is uh, strained with a 360 degrees bond angle. 360, not 360. So it is a uh, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. So three. 60 degrees bond angle is present in the like a three member ring that's why it is uh, ready to opens ready to opens so whenever the opening of epoxide in case of uh, like a acidic medium or basic medium basic or acidic medium it gives the two different products not like a uh, bromonium ions bromonium ions whether it is in the presence of acidic medium or basic medium we get the same product uh, but uh, here the opening of epoxide it gives the two different product two various product uh, in case of uh, like uh, both acid catalyzed and base catalyzed reaction now why it uh, happens why it is requires the two different type of products let's look down the one of the simple example okay so now here it is the epoxide okay so this is the unsymmetrical epoxide in presence of H plus in presence of H plus we will get the like a H plus will obstruct the proton from uh, oxygen uh, oxygen lone pairs will obstruct the proton from acid and it creates the like oxonium oxonium ion oxonium ion so those oxonium ion ready to open why because o, the normal oxygen is a bad living group and like OH is better living group like uh, when compared to the OH so like OH is the bad living group OH2 plus is the best living group okay so whenever the strong uh, like better living groups it uh, favors the SN1 mechanism okay so when uh, the system have molecule having the like a uh, uh, better living groups then only it, it proceeds the like SN1 mechanism then only it favors the SN1 mechanism that's why it creates the formation of oxonium ion then it forms the carbocation intermediate that carbocation intermediate formation it follows the SN1 mechanism okay so if it it opens like this it creates the secondary carbocation or it open like this it creates the tertiary carbocation so tertiary carbocation positive charge over there 
okay it opens the positive charge simply we will get the these kind of carbocation these kind of carbocation so then after so our desired our desired nucleophile whatever the nucleophile either uh, methanol or bromide whatever the nucleophile will attack over here so now we will get the these kind of product oh o methanol oh o methanol so this is the acid catalyzed reaction product acid catalyzed reaction product OH and O methanol. Where it is open takes place, the sterically more crowded side O pine. So in case of acidic medium, we will get the sterically more crowded side, more crowded N is attacked or N is opened. N is opened. Simple case. Now in case of a base catalyzed mechanism, so the base catalyzer cannot create the carbocation. Why? Because base it readily it methoxide simply takes the methoxide methoxide is readily attacks the sterically less crowded side sterically less crowded side to gives the like a, some of the like a relief to get the three membered ring to get the uh, three membered ring now we will get o minus and o methyl o minus and o methyl so that o minus get protonated in presence of water we will get the o methyl and OH, O methyl and OH. So this is the base catalyzed reaction mechanism. So base catalyzed reaction mechanism. So let's check whether both the like a product A and a product B. That is nothing but a acid catalyzed product and base catalyzed product. Both are same or different. So both will be same or different. So here nucleophile attacks at a sterically more crowded side but here the nucleophiles attacks at sterically less crowded side sterically less crowded side this is the ratio selectivity in case of opening of epoxides based on the like acid and base catalyzed mechanism acid and base catalyzed mechanism so finally what we conclude in presence of acid opening of epoxide opening of epoxide will favors the uh, like a sterically more crowded end is open sterically more crowded end is open but in case of a basic catalyzer mechanism it opens the sterically less crowded end it opens the sterically less crowded and this is the final conclusion regarding to the opening of epoxide i think it is clear shall we discuss the some of the examples and some of the exceptions also Okay, some ex exception is there. It was mentioned in the like a Clyden. So, in presence of uh, one to epoxide, one to pro epoxy propane. So, which is treated with HBr in acidic medium. What are the what are the medium? So, uh, treated with uh, simply H2. Let's imagine. Okay, so here H HBr is the like uh, acid. Okay, it obviously it is acid. So in presence of acid, what we expected? So in presence of acid, sterically more crowded side is open. So that's why we will get the like a uh, bromine over here, over oh, so here. So that bromide is the nucleophile. Bromide is the nucleophile. So if it opens the sterically more crowded side, so here it creates the positive charge. That positive charge was neutralized by the nucleophile. Now we will get the Br. Okay, or it is possible for the attack of uh, like a less crowded side. Like uh, here it creates the positive charge. That positive charge was neutralized by the bromo bromide ion and OH. It here O minus will become OH. So this is the two cases. This is the two possibilities to uh, formation of uh, lager, to opening of epoxides. Okay. Now here it's sterically less crowded. Sterically more crowded. Sterically more crowded. So based on the acidity and basicity, according to our previous conclusion, acidic medium will give the more crowded side. But here it is not happening. But here it is not happening. So here 76% product is there. 24% uh, product is absorbed. So 76% uh, sterically less crowded side. That is uh, uh, like more nucleophilicity or more basic medium side. It opens. Why? Because here the content of bromide, it is the, like we will take the HBr. In, in in the solvent like in in case of a solvent that solvent concentration is more that's why the nucleophilicity of a bromide ion will dominate the like a acidic acidic medium will dominate the acidic medium that's why it gets the sterically less crowded side opens with the 76 percentage of yield 76 percentage of yield finally let's we conclude some of the examples or summarize the some of the examples in case of opening of epoxides
okay, in opening of epoxides. Okay, this is the five membered ring. So the five membered epoxide, this is the like a above the plane epoxide, which treated with uh, some base, simple base, a dimethyl amine. So the dimethyl amine will attack the like back of the plane. Simply, it is the five membered ring. So the five, uh, like let's imagine, it is the five membered ring. So the five membered ring. So here two carbons are there. So these two carbons like this. Okay. So epoxide uh, epoxide forms like this. So the bottom side is free. Okay. If it is five membered ring, epoxide forms the above side. Okay. Epoxide forms the above side. So the bottom side is uh, free. So the nucleophile will attach the bottom side. That indicates here it is the basic medium. Okay. Now we get the this kind of product. N methyl. 2 and H plus over there here it is the OH okay the finally the loss of H plus will get the this kind of a pure product OH and N methyl taken twice OH and N methyl taken twice so which is already discussed this kind of a problem here it is the olefin in presence of MCPPA so it it, it forms the like a, either above the plane or below the plane epoxide either above the plane or below the plane epoxide now when we use the this kind of uh, amine this kind of uh, amine uh, nucleophiles we will get the like below the plane amine and above the plane OH so this is the plus and minus isomer that plus and minus isomer indicates here plus plus content is 50% and minus content is 50% so that plus and minus is nothing but a racemic mixture okay so it is possible for the attack of the n n methyl either this side or this side okay so either n attack over here or n attack over here we'll get the, these two are 50 50 percent but both the products are same that's why we'll get the racemic mixture as a product racemic mixture as a product so in the in the top of the case it attacks the back side of the position that's why it is the SN2 mechanism back side of attack is nothing but SN2 mechanism so this is the like opening of uh, epoxides and opening of bromonium ions in chapter 19 of uh, Clyden textbook okay I think so this is very clear the opening of epoxide opening of bromonium ions first of all opening of bromonium ions either acidic or basic medium it gives the same kind of product but in case of um, opening of epoxide, acidic medium, it opens the sterically more crowded side and basic medium, it opens the sterically less crowded side along with one exception. In presence of HBr, it opens the sterically less crowded side due to the its uh, strong nucleophilicity nature of bromide ion. Bromide ion. So the finally, some of the examples which gives the racemic mixture in presence of any other sterical groups. Okay, so that's all for this video. I'll I'll be back with uh, another video in the chapter 19. Thank you so much for watching.